Hello everyone, welcome to Oliboard. In this particular video, we will be looking at the part 2 of trigonometric series for SSC CGL 2018. Okay? In part 1, we have already discussed the basics of trigonometry and I have also told you how to find out the trigonometric ratio of larger angle. Okay? So if you haven't watched that, please go and watch that and also learn all the con those concepts which I have taught you and then come back to this lecture so that you can solve these questions by yourself also. Okay? Now let's move on to our questions. So this first question is find the value of tan 65 degree divided by cot 25 degree plus sin 18 degree divided by cos 70 degree. Okay. So when this question come in your exam, you have to directly see that this 65 and 25 when added, it will become 90 degree. Again, 18 degree plus 72 degree will give us 90 degree. So these two angles are basically complementary angle. So I have told you that tan can be converted to cot and sin can be converted to cos and vice versa if the two angles when added forms a complementary angle. Okay, So I can write this as tan 90 minus 25 degree divided by I will not change this 25 degree only plus I will change this one as sine of 90 minus 72 I can write it like this because 90 degree minus 72 degree will give us 18 degree again this will be not changed and it will be 72 degree only. Now I know that tan 90 minus x is what? cot x and sin 90 minus x is what cos x. Okay, So I can directly replace this one with cos 25 degree sorry cot 25 degree divided by again cot 25 degree plus this one can be converted into cos 72 degree and the denominator is again cos 72 degree. So this will cancel out this will also cancel out I will be left with 1 plus 1 that is 2 as my answer. Okay. So this concept was taught in the basic video only. Okay. Now let's move on to our question number two. Now before solving this, I will like to request you to solve this question by yourself and then tally the answer with the answer that I will provide after some time. Okay. So I, I hope that you guys have tried it and you have got the answer. Now let's solve this particular problem. So this question is given as sin 3a equal to cos a minus 26 degree. Okay where 3a is the acute angle find the value of a so we have to find this value of a in degrees okay so how can i do that if i am able to uh, convert this sine into cos or this cos into sine then i can cancel this sine and sine and i will get an equation which have a as the variable so i will be able to find the value of a okay so i will either convert this sine into cos and this cos into sine so this is very easy to convert so i can write this like this sine 3a can be written as cos 90 minus 3a, right? Okay, because we know that cos 90 minus x is equal to what? Sin x. So, if this is sin x, this can be replaced by cos 90 minus 3a, okay? And this is equal to this one. So, I can say that this one is also equal to this cos a minus 26 degree. I can say like this. Now, this cos and cos will get cancelled. I will have 90 minus 3a equal to a minus 26 degree. Now, if I bring this minus 3a this side, I will have 4a and this 26 degree this side, then 90 plus 26. So, if I give this 10 to 90, it will become 100 and then 16 will be left. So, this will be a total 116. Okay. So, 4a equal to 116 degree. So, a will be what? 100 plus 60. I have just uh, uh, expanded it into two parts so that it will be easy for me to divide by 4. Okay, So this is 4 and this will be 25. So my total answer will be, will be what? 25 plus 4 that is 29. I hope you have understood this problem also. Okay, Now let's move on to our question number 3. So again I will request you to solve this question by yourself and later on tally with my answer. Okay, So the best method to solve these type of problem where there is theta involved in the question but in the options there is no theta. That is the options are independent of theta. So the best method will be to assume any value of theta and use it in this particular equation and then tally with the options. Okay. So if I let take that theta is equal to 0 degree in this particular equation, this equation will become sec 0 degree multiplied by 1 plus sin 0. Sin 0 is 0 only. So this will become 0. Cos 0 is your 1 plus cos 0 is again 1. Okay. This will be 1 divided by 1 plus sin 0. Sin 0 is 0. So 1 plus 0 will be 1 only. Okay. Minus 2 into tan theta square. Now theta is 0. So tan 0 is already 0. So this will become 0 only. So I will have cos 
cos zero uh, sorry sec zero degree now sec zero degree is one only okay because cos zero cos zero degree is one so the reverse of cos is sec so sec zero degree will also be equal to one okay so this is one into one by one is one only plus one minus zero so i will have one multiplied by two so two will be my direct answer so the option c is correct in this particular case okay so in this particular type of problem you have to you have to just assume the value of theta and then tally with the options provided now let's move on to our question number four now this question number four is very important it is saying that find the maximum value of sin square x multiplied by cos square x okay so in this particular type of problem what you have to do is you can use this inequality that is arithmetic mean is always greater than equal to geometric mean okay now what do you mean by arithmetic mean since there are two number i am just assuming that this is my one number that is a and this is my another number say b okay because this will give me some value so i am just assuming that its value is a and its value is b so arithmetic mean will be just the average that is a plus b divided by 2 okay and the geometric mean of these two number will be a multiplied by b square root okay so this is basically the geometric mean of two numbers and this is the arithmetic mean of two numbers and there is a relationship between them that arithmetic mean is always greater than equal to geometric mean okay so i can say that if these are my two numbers okay so i can say that sin square x i am finding this arithmetic mean a plus b divided by 2 so sin square x plus cos square x divided by 2 is always greater than equal to what root under sin square x multiplied by cos square x i can say like this because this is a multiplied by b root under now you already know that sin square x plus cos square x is 1 so this will be 1 divided by 2 greater than equal to root under sin square x cos square x i can see like this okay now if i write it like this there won't be any problem i have to just interchange the position sin square x cos square x i will write here less than equal to 1 by 2 this equation is similar to this one just i have interchanged the position this sin square x is brought here and half is brought here okay now if i square these two numbers i will get sin square x cos square x greater than equal to 1 by 4 so this is the maximum value okay because they are saying that sin square x multiplied by cos square x is less than equal to 1 by 4 that is it can take all values but the maximum value is what 1 by 4 so in this case my answer will be option c okay so in this type of problem when they, they will ask you the maximum value or minimum value and there is multiplication involved you can use this inequality and it will be very useful for you okay so note it down in your formula list and how you have to use i have just told you okay now let's move on to our next problem that is question number five now this question is little tricky you have to just uh, understand the concept behind this question so i have just written that application of sin 2x now in order to solve this question i will apply this formula of sin 2x okay so assume that if they have not given you this theta value and only they have asked you that find the value of this expression okay so what how you are going to solve this question i will just explain okay so first i will try to explain this formula of sin 2x okay sin 2x formula is 2 multiplied by sin x multiplied by cos x okay so this is the formula for sin 2x now here you can notice one thing that if this is 2x i am writing here x and here x okay so if i like extend this uh, particular formula i will get sin x is equal to 2 multiplied by sin x by 2 multiplied by cos x by 2 okay because when there was 2 times x i have written half of it okay because 2x divided by 2 will give us x only so when there will be x here i will get x by 2 and here also i will get x by 2 again if i say that this is sin x by 2 then i can write sin x by 4 into cos x by 4 again the extension of this okay because if there is 2x i am writing here x okay so whatever is written here the half of it has to be written here okay so if this is x by 2 this will become x by 4 and this will become also x by 4 so i hope this formula is pretty clear now okay now we have to find the value of this particular expression okay so i will write it like this root under 1 plus now this sin theta now this is similar to sin x so i can write it like this 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2 so 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2 okay plus again i can write 1 minus 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2 okay there is no problem i guess uh, because i have just replaced this formula okay sin theta with this particular formula that is 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2 now we know that 
if there is sine and cos involved so whenever i will see 1 i can replace this 1 with sine square theta by 2 plus cos square theta by 2 okay because sine square theta by 2 plus cos square theta by 2 will become 1 okay so i can replace this 1 with half root under sine square theta by 2 plus cos square theta by 2 plus 2 sine theta by 2 cos theta by 2 okay and this one also i will uh, try to use this one this formula only sine square theta by 2 plus cos square theta by 2 minus 2 sine theta by 2 into cos theta by 2 okay so if you look at this particular thing inside this root under you will see that this is a square plus b square plus 2 a b so this is basically the formula of a plus b whole square so i can write it like this sine theta by 2 whole square plus cos theta by 2 whole square okay so the only motive to convert this sine theta into 2 sine theta by 2 cos theta by 2 and this 1 into sine square theta uh, square plus cos square theta is basically to get this expression so that i can uh, get rid of this particular root under okay again i will use here also the same thing this is a square plus b square minus 2 ab okay now if there is something like this that a square plus b square minus 2 ab i can either write this formula a minus b whole square or you can write b minus whole a whole square because b minus a whole square is also this one and a minus b whole square is also this one now in this particular case you have to decide which formula i am going to use okay because if i use this one then a is greater than b and if i use this one this means that b is greater than a okay now we have to decide that in this particular case which one either sin theta by 2 is greater or cos theta by 2 is greater so in order to uh, clarify this particular thing they have given this theta value okay now since they have given theta equal to 60 degree and here we have theta by 2 so if i find theta by 2 it will become 60 by 2 that is 30 degree okay so theta by 2 is equal to 30 degree now i will try to see that if sin theta by 2 is greater or cos theta by 2 is greater now sin theta by 2 is basically sin theta 30 degree is equal to half and sin sorry cos 30 degree will, will be equal to what root 3 by 2 so i clearly see that this cos theta by 2 is greater than this sin theta by 2 so i will write it like this cos theta by 2 minus sin theta by 2 okay i hope this is clear why i have not written sin theta uh, at the first place and cos theta at the second place because cos theta by 2 at theta by 2 that is theta equal to 30 degree cos theta by 2 is greater and sin theta by 2 is less okay now this root under and this 2 will cancel out so i will be left with half sin theta by 2 and this half will again multiply it by this so half cos theta by 2 plus half of cos theta by 2 minus half of sin theta by 2 okay now this minus and this plus 1 will cancel out so i will have half plus half so it will be 1 only because i if i took cos theta by 2 common then i will be left with half plus half and half plus half is only 1 only okay so i can say that the, my answer will be what cos theta by 2 okay so in this particular case my answer is option c which is cos theta by 2 okay so i think that this problem is also clear the most important thing here to note is that we have to convert this particular expression into this but with care taking the value of theta in consideration okay so all these five questions are solved by me okay i hope you have understood what are the solution so i hope that you have understood all those five questions clearly if you have any doubt you can comment down on the comment section and i will try to rectify them as soon as possible okay so if you like this video please like share and subscribe to olive board thank you